Hey you, you're finally awake. All right, disregard that Skyrim uh, failed accent. What's up? It's Hunter, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about three things that are wasting your time. And I'm gonna take you through my day. Uh, I got a workout planned, I gotta go run some errands, and uh, let's get after it. All right, y'all. It's a rainy day here in Southern California. I'm actually on the way to Sam's Club to get me some gas of the week. Uh, but I thought I'd talk about the first thing that I think, me personally, I waste a lot of my time is uh, a little something called paralysis by analysis. So uh, when you have a lot of options in front of you or if you have a task in front of you, um, it's when you research so much on the task that you don't actually complete it. And uh, I'm not talking about something crazy. I'm not talking about like writing a book or um, I don't know what the hell kind of tasks we got nowadays, fixing your car or something like that, or purchasing the right car. I'm talking about little things that for some reason I have a problem with, and that's like little purchases at the grocery store. So uh, <laughs> last time I went uh, with my friend um, to go get some pasta sauce, actually, we're gonna make some pasta. Dude, there are so many gosh darn options in the pasta aisle, bro. There's like marinara, there's three meat sauce, there's 50 different brands, there's like vodka Alfredo, there's um, tomato basil, there's garlic. And bro, I was looking at it and I was like, holy cow, which one is gonna be good, you know? All right, I accidentally pressed the stop button on my iPhone. As I was saying with the pasta sauces, I kinda, the solution here, to cut it short, is just choose with what you think sounds good initially within 10 seconds, grab it and forget about it. And another way that helps or another solution is just when you're making any purchase, such as like for a shampoo, there's tons of options, man. Stick with the brand you know and love and just get it, man. Cause you don't wanna waste your time and effort thinking over little things, you know? There's too many decisions to make in a day and just make your life simpler. Another thing that helps me, especially when I'm at a restaurant or a new fast food spot, is I'll literally just ask the person in the front, hey, what's popular? Like, let's say if the menu has um, too many dang options, man, I'm just like, you know what? I asked the front lady, I'm like, our front guy, like, hey, what's, mo what's most popular? What do you recommend? And I just grab it, man. Or if I'm at a boba spot, I'm at a coffee spot and they have like a drink of the day, bam! Easy decision, easy life. All right, man. So we're back here in the garage, AKA the garage gym. And I uh, just put on my shoes here before I start warming up for my workout. But the second thing that I think people waste way too much of their time on is defending beliefs on social media. So I'm not just giving a blanket statement about all oh, social media is a waste of time, which we can argue that it is, but I'm talking specifically about when people have to or they feel motivated or obligated to defend something on social media, man. So here's an example for you. Um, recently, I was watching UFC. Uh, there's a fighter, his name is Israel Adesanya. He was, I think, like 20 and 0, 21 and 0. And uh, he challenged someone in a higher class than him. He lost, it was a close fight, but he did lose. And now he's like 21 and 1 or something like that. And so people, I was, for some reason, this is stupid of me, but I was on the uh, UFC Instagram and you know how they post results. And then for some reason, I decided to look at the comments, man. And people were arguing over Adesanya. They were saying, that, oh, he's still the GOAT or, oh, he only lost because of this. Um, same thing happens every time Conor McGregor fights. If he loses, people out there want to defend his honor, man. Like it's their family, you know? And I understand people build a loyalty to it. But here's the thing, guys. You can't change someone's mind on social media. You can present logic, you can provide reason. They even might be right, but people are not apt to change on social media. You don't go on social media to get your beliefs changed, man. People will pick a belief and stick with it until they die, you know? And everyone wants to be like, oh, I'm better than you. Um, we say that in a lot of things, we could be like, oh, look at those conservatives. Oh, look at those liberals, look how bad they are, right? Oh, look at those Conor McGregor fans. I can't believe being a Conor McGregor fan or look at those Laker fans, you know? Everyone wants to feel superior in a way, morally. So there's, there's no point, dude. If someone, if your team loses on uh, the NBA Finals, you know, the Lakers lose, screw it, man. Why are you gonna defend them on social media? Who cares? You know, you're not gonna change anyone's mind. So, just live your life, man. 
You don't, you don't gotta stick out for everyone. Stick out for yourself, stick out for your family. Other people have nothing to do with you. Screw it, man, who cares? Also, dude, you gotta try this. Come on, focus. This is the new Coke coffee. It's like a uh, Coca-Cola with coffee in it, uh, Brazilian coffee actually. 70 calories per can, so it's not sugar free, which usually I don't like um, drinking my carbs, but pretty dang good, man. If you like coffee, if you like Coke, it's like the best of both worlds. Test it out. All right guys, I just finished my workout. I was gonna record outside, but it's kind of windy and uh, I don't want the audio quality to get all jacked up. So I'll just have this camera on me and I'll walk around in my garage. So. The last thing we need to do, I need to do, all of us need to do, to save more of our time is to not focus, not waste our time on, stop caring about Bolshevik. A Bolshevik is a stand-in word for the word <laughs> Exactly. So what do I mean is uh, there's a lot of things in life that try to take our attention. And uh, I'll give you examples because I, I believe in examples a lot. Um, so recently, the royal family of the UK or something just had an interview with Oprah. And stop right there. Stop right there. First of all, do I live in the UK? No. People from the UK, do they care about the royal family? Maybe. But for me, first of all, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me one bit. So, why do a lot of us um, spend so much time caring about what's happening over there, man? I, I saw the video, everyone's making their reactions to the, um, to the interview, the royal family, oh, it's so corrupt, all that stuff. It's like, bro, who, I could it doesn't affect my life at all. Second thing, another example, the Grammys just happened. I don't care if it's the Grammys, the American Music Awards, the Country Music Awards, Coachella, uh, the Oscars, the Golden Globes, the Emmys. Dude, does not matter. Does not matter. I don't need to care. Even if I don't like it, I don't need to research on how the ratings reach the all new low. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter if they win, they do good, good for them. If they don't, that's too bad, you know? Why do we spend so much time on stuff like that, man? It just doesn't make sense. So. The last thing is to avoid the Bolshevik, man. Stop. Just don't care about stuff. It's okay not to care about things that don't affect your life. I'm not saying don't be informed. Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea to know what your government is up to. It's a good idea to know what bills are being passed, your state, local laws, stuff like that. But stuff that's going on around the world, entertainment news, uh, what's the newest divorce in Hollywood. You know, it's just, it just doesn't matter. And that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.